Atlanta's in the metro sense, uh, in a transportation crisis or crunch. It's a mess. Great lock. Organized confusion. We have more people trying to move from place to place than are able to get there in a reasonable period of time. You have a number of entities who are organized to provide transportation alternatives, but really not a lot of alternatives. If you want to use an option besides a car in Atlanta, you have to really go out of your way to figure out how to do it. Atlanta's heritage is built on transportation. It was once the terminus of the railroad lines and now hosts the world's busiest airport. The city's next transportation milestone may be the Beltline, an exciting idea that could remake in-town transportation and revitalize Atlanta's neighborhoods. It's an idea that grew out of a, a student um, effort at uh, Georgia Tech. In looking at Atlanta and trying to find a project, I noticed these rail lines that sort of circle the city that are not used. Ryan's idea was to reuse old rail lines as a transit line in combination with a linear park. He sent his idea to elected officials and found a like mind in City Council President Kathy Woolard. I called Ryan and, and he and some colleagues came in and we started talking and they described the plan and I thought, you know, Eureka! There's rail corridor all over the city, but this particular corridor made up of about four, three or four different lines actually makes a 22 mile circle, if you will, around the city of Atlanta, about two miles out from downtown on average, and it connects to MARTA at the four compass points. The Beltline would offer trolley or light rail service around the city as well as linear parks with walking and bike trails that link to existing neighborhoods. The Beltline will connect such places as Piedmont Park in Midtown, City Hall East and the booming Ponce de Leon Corridor, landmarks like the old Postal Union Hall in the Capitol View neighborhood, Atlanta's Beltline would spur economic growth that could reclaim much abandoned land throughout the city. On the south side where the railroad has abandoned that corridor, it's a kudzu valley in the summertime. And in the wintertime it's worse because you can see what's under the kudzu and it's not very nice. The Beltline, if you look at the track plan, currently goes through some areas that have been neglected, have not had any development, in many cases run down areas. The Beltline will allow local developers to look at certain neighborhoods close to the rail line or the tracks in a different way. I think it will spur on development and building in the city in a way that I haven't seen another project sustain us for some time. From the Housing Authority standpoint, we want to develop mixed income communities with both low income housing and market rate housing. And on the underutilized land that lies along the Beltline, it's a perfect opportunity to incorporate that housing. We estimate it at just transit oriented kinds of densities that it could accommodate 100,000 new residents in the city of Atlanta. I see it as a big boom where retail actually starts to grow. Your mom and pops become a, a higher standard of quality. Uh, all of that comes together with the Beltline project. In a very interesting way, Atlanta is in aggregate all of its different communities, over 200 of them. And the Beltline will be the only mode of transportation that really connects just about every one of them. I think there just aren't very many transportation projects that have people clamoring for it. And this just happens to be uh, unique in that way because people know it's not gonna disrupt their neighborhood. My own experience as a youngster is that transit can have a tremendous impact on the city's life. There is no way to separate our quality of life from our mobility. Uh, modern life is all about mobility. It's about time management. It's about ease of con inconvenience. And transportation is the centerpiece of all of that. I often say that uh, my father was an attorney who rode transit to work. My mother was a teacher who rode transit to work. Uh, many people think that transit dependent populations are the, the lower paid or the those with less education. My own personal experience is growing up without a car that transit really can work for everyone. It's amazing to go out to neighborhood groups and hear people talk about it. They get it instantly. 
This is a great project. So I'm excited to be part of it. I love the people because they're people who are always looking for improvements, always looking for an opportunity to make this a great city. The issue of moving people around this city that is very spread out, we need to jump up, jump behind the proposals that offer alternatives to do that. The Beltline has the potential to take the best of what other cities have done, like the light rail system and streetcars in Portland, the Kenosha, Wisconsin trolley, and the network of Milwaukee parks, and put them right into an amazing loop around Atlanta. I think an amenity like this inspires imagination. We've got to look for new ways of, of moving people around, and this gives us the most exciting opportunity I've ever heard of in Atlanta's history. It's an epical moment. We've got to take advantage of it. Citizens are excited about the Beltline. They want to see this happen, and they are the catalyst that's driving this process and this discussion right now, and that's the most exciting part about it.